Well, people have been protesting in the UK um, against police brutality, I'm assuming, mostly um, in support of Black Lives Matter and also in support of uh, George Floyd and, you know, standing in solidarity with that hideous, heinous moment. But it's odd, isn't it? I had the feeling that it would get a bit physical and it would get a bit, you know, get there would be some argy-bargy there. And a part of me was thinking, why would that occur, right? Why would London protesters, uh, why would people, you know, trying to bring awareness of Black Lives Matter, trying to bring, aware to, bring awareness to systemic police uh, brutality against black people in America, why would they want to resort to violence in a nation that doesn't necessarily reflect the same level of brutality that they do in the US or the UK? We have our issues, don't get me wrong, right? Cops who shoot the wrong people, cops can be overzealous, they can be, um, they just, our places are just wankers in it in general. They can be a bit cunty, um, you know, they they obviously have that superiority complex. Um, but in general, you know, you can kind of get away, you can kind of skirt by life in the UK without interacting with them too often if you're sensible for the most part. They don't necessarily try and gain your business depending on where you live. From what my experience I've had, now I've lived in ends, I've lived in nicer places, but for the most part, they tend to kind of like, you know, not bother you if you're not, being a dickhead basically which is hard to you know what is a dickhead uh, bigger question but i had a feeling it was going to get a bit violent i had a feeling it was going to get a bit testy and i guess again it's just more so um a consequence of people just being locked in their doors indoors for the most part not being allowed out not being given any idea about when things would get eased confusing communication from the government um johnson says this about easing the lockdown then the health secretary says this and then this expert says that it's just so many confusing um you know uh, messages being put out there so i'm assuming once they people see that video even if you're based in the uk you for sure have somebody in your social group who've gone who's gone through some something similar with the police right has gone through a really unfortunate or really kind of scary situation they've been subjected to so i guess the only reaction would be to kind of freak out a bit but i think it's a bit unfair to really be abusing police officers in london who haven't really done anything right in the grand scheme of things um um, they're probably hurting as much as we are during the lockdown, right? They probably had to, the people they have to encounter during lockdown, they could potentially be, you know, it could be actually a life or death moment for them, right? You've seen these bus drivers in the UK who have been spat on by irate passengers passing away. Um, it's a really scary job for police officers, I'd assume, during lockdown, especially, you know, number one, you might get the virus. Number two, you're interacting with, you know, some real killers out there during this time if you're outside and you're actually moving around and doing your thing you're definitely you know a little bit off kilter so you're not really meeting the best and brightest of the nation when you're going out there on the street so i don't know man i feel i feel bad for them and uh, and, uh, and that part of me thinks as well like the, the the police officers on the street now they're the they're the little cadet ones isn't it the little geeky dork ones that look like they're just you know i don't know the ones that kind of print out all the the, the ones that print out all the uh, <laughs> all the morning briefings for the pieces in the morning the ones that give out the coffees in the station that's what they look like so I feel a bit bad for them but this video is pretty grim isn't it? <laughs> where is it uh, yeah this is the a fight that took place during the London riots which leaves me scratching my head as to why our places are being subjected to this level of violence when they've really done nothing wrong in you know now currently of course the past have done many many things wrong but as we start it's a bit unfair i'm assuming where they are westminster abbey house of commons not too sure there's pieces of behind the barricade kids jump across uh, thing. and if you watch the video there's a kid obviously trying to fight a police officer his hat falls off which you know is a big no-no for Peter, so I'm assuming, right? You can't ever let, yeah. It's like if you're an interviewer for a radio station or a TV show, you can't ever let someone take your mic in it. So I'm assuming your hat is the same thing. So you got this kid rammed up against a wall trying to fight off two police officers. And there's a moment where he, he realizes he's fired police, two officers, police officers, right? And he wants to throw a punch, but he doesn't. It's kind of like, I'm not sure if it's a respect thing or he's like, They continue and some of his friends try and get involved but they're not actually you know they're not really brave not really gonna go for it right look there's so much room here they can actually jump in and get involved in the action but they're like oh this is tricky in it because it's one thing getting a bit lippy with the police officers the next thing punching one do you know what i mean 
you're really committing to the cause in that regard. Oh my god, the punching, punching. Wow. They're actually punching each other, man. This is madness. A black piece is here trying to calm people down by holding them back. They're still swinging. I don't even know what started it either. That's the thing that's questionable. What even started this? Like, where? why would they just start swinging? Again, throwing stuff. Getting the baton out. The black player's part that's fighting is in red. He's on the floor now. They're hitting him back again. Pushing him back. Pushing him back. Lucky, to be honest. That dude was in the crowd, and then he got pulled back by the police without getting arrested. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit cringe, man. But it's mostly kids, to be honest. It's mostly kids, isn't it? But this is a bit cringe. The way they're going, they're actually going as on. They're going on as if like these guys are LAPD, man. Like, relax, man. Like, what? They're not really done anything to you, innit? I don't know. Maybe, maybe they're just bored in it. But bloody hell, man, that's a mad dance. <laughs> Let's hope when something actually happens, these kids keep the same energy in it. Because this, this might actually lead to some level of change. If we had these kids during the 2011 riots, this might have, you know, things might have been better. But people are too busy, you know, flipping over cars and burning shit instead of, you know, actually. I'm not advocating for assault, but hey, if you want to get your message across. Thank <sniffs> you.